This is Gavin2102 aka Gavin Landy. Sorry if this is shaky because I haven't gotten my tripod. So, um, anyways, this is another episode of WWE Action Figure Customizing. Now, I know that Ryback is currently not in the W. Well, he is contracted with the WWE, but as we know, he's had problems with uh, contract problems, contract dispute with Vince McMahon. And, uh, the rumor is that the WWE is just going to let his contract expire. Or, if his contract doesn't expire, then we're going to have Vince McMahon go. Well then. I guess he said it for me. Vince McMahon said it. So, anyways. Getting straight into this figure... It's really detailed, it's a custom, and now there is no, like, literally there is no, um, uh, what, what do you want to call it? There is no, uh, singlet, um, but anyways, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get straight into this figure. I know I haven't done the next figure customizing, and I think it's almost been a year, but anyways, uh, we're coming back with it, and I hope you guys enjoy it, so without any further ado... Let's get straight into this custom Ryback action figure Elite style. So first what we have is this tremendous face scan from the Elite 24 Ryback. This is the whole Elite 24, um, this is the whole Elite 24 Ryback figure. Um, so what I did here, I actually put the elbow pads on from, um, it was a basic series Christian action figure. Uh, it was from the Extreme Rules uh, series from 2011. But what I did was I actually uh, painted the R in because I didn't really like the R, considering that that was the old Ryback logo. But right there as well, this is the 2012 version because it has the circle right there. Right there, it's just the, what I said, the basic series Christian elbow pads and... um. Right here we have the Elite 24 tank top, or whatever you want to call it as well. Uh, it comes right off, slips right off. So, um, yeah. Right here, we got it. Right back, does not. What I did was, I actually um, cracked the Elite figure. I actually cracked the uh, Elite 24 and put a... Uh, uh, one of the John, one of my custom John Cena, uh, bodies on the upper body with the flex. It was an elite, um, figure and it has a great flex. Nothing's, uh, damaged on it. Nothing is, uh, stiffened or anything. Cause I actually took a couple pieces out that were inside of it. It was like a rubber, a rubber circle, like cylinder cool looking, uh, thing. So I just kind of took that out. And what I had was I actually had this. His whole trunk's painted black. But then when I went back and looked at it, I'm like, oh my god, this looks really badass without the black. Wow, maybe I should just go back and get rid of the paint. So I did that, and um, I just really loved it so much. So I decided to keep it like this. It was really cool. I recommend you guys making it if you know how to make them. I kept the Ryback boots on. What I was actually doing at first was making a Goldberg custom. I had a Stone Cold Steve Austin head on, but I'm like... Hell, if Goldberg comes back to the WWE, we're going to get a Goldberg figure. We're probably going to get a Goldberg figure anyways, considering that he's in 2K17. Um, I'm like, hell, why, oh, we're, we're not going to get a Ryback figure like this anyways if he doesn't come back. So, um, unless the WWE does not discontinue it, but I have a feeling that they're going to do that. Um, see right there. What I'm actually consider doing is actually considering like scolding or sanding these two uh, flabs in the back of his head right here down so they're not there because I don't really like them but I'll keep this one right here. So you can see there's a lot of detail on the trunks where it says warning that said dangerous 
Uh, it said Ryback, but now it says back. This is kind of popping off right now because I haven't really done that. But right there. A lot of detail in this figure. I really love it. And uh, I don't... What I think that maybe I could have done better. I think that if I really tried, I could have painted the Ryback... Uh, stuff on but I, re I just really loved it like this and I thought it was really cool It would be unique because if we did we're gonna get one in all black and it's just gonna be a Goldberg figure Basically, it'd be really awesome if we did get a ride back like this because then I could make a custom Goldberg um, But yes, this is so great um, Great face scan great everything uh, Probably gonna darken up the beard and the eyebrows and stuff um, So actually Yeah, I was looking for something, but I don't seem to have it anymore. But anyways, yes, so I really love this figure. Don't think it could have been any better, but it was my first kind of torso crack, so a little mishaps kind of happened. But anyways, yeah, I'll make probably a torso crack, how to crack your torso figures and elite figures and basics and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, here it is, and I'll show you guys back up again. Oh, and before I show you the Ryback again, I just wanted to show you the detail on here it's from the Elite 24 again. This is, feed me more, this was his 2012 uh, shirt. Really cool. I could have, they have this rubber crap. I wish they could have made it like cloth. I'll probably get a custom cloth one again. Maybe from Ralph's figure clothing or something like that. Right there, really cool. Yeah, th this shirt couldn't have been done better. There was actually, when I look back at this, I'm like, wow. Now, normally figures like the t-shirts and stuff have a little bit of mishaps on them. But this one could not have been better. This one's perfect. There's no screw-ups on it. it. It's perfectly detailed and everything. But I'm sure you guys don't want to see the shirt. So, I'll get right back into the figure. And the Elite uh, 24 Ryback actually came with that chair as well. So, anyways, you guys. um, I really hope that you guys... um love this video i really guys hope that if you want me to do more action figure customizing videos i will and you guys can leave down in the comments whatever customs you want me to make um i'm considering making a custom finn balor although i already have a finn balor but um i've actually made a custom finn balor it was really crappy but you can go back and look at it um so anyways you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it and um it's a great, it's really time consuming, it gives you something to do, it gives you a project, it gives you a challenge. Um, I did not use any referencing actually because actually I knew what he looked like so I'm like oh hell I just, I just go with the way it's like. Um, it, perfect body, perfect face scan, perfect arms, perfect legs, perfect muscle detail, perfect, perfect detail on the shirt, uh, the face. Um, Everything with this figure is amazing, tremendous. You guys have some critiques, you can put down in the comments. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys want me to do more action figure customizing videos, I'm going to need you guys to like this video. Favorite this video, share this on every social media platform that's humanly possible, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Feed me more. Hope Ryback comes back to the WWE. Maybe he'll get the push he deserves.